So first time back in Miami, any emotions going through your head right now? How do you feel? What does it feel like to be back, you know, in a place where you kind of started your professional career? Yeah, I'd say a lot of emotions. Um, the fact that the, the Marlins organization took a chance on me in 2019 out of college um, and spent, you know, four and a half years with them. Um, coming out of college, I didn't really know what pro ball was like, but they kind of took me under their arms and showed me the ropes, and uh, I'm thankful that they um, helped me progress as a player, as a, as a person. Um, and they gave me that shot in 2022. They make my de big league debut. That's something I'll never forget with them. Take us back to the day you were traded. You we guys were in Tampa. Um, how do you – Tell us how you heard the news, what it was like, and then when you found out that you and Tanner both were going to San Diego. Yeah, well, we knew the trade deadline was, I think, around 6.30 p.m. Um, I mean, we all knew Tanner was going to get traded. It was only a matter of, of when and where. Um, but personally, for me, I, I did not think I was going to get traded. Um, just being hurt for two months, I, I, I kind of just put in my mind, I was like, I'm, my innings aren't up there. I was hurt for two months. I don't think a team would really you know, take a chance on me, I guess I should say. And then, um, but no, we were in a we were in the, in the clubhouse in Tampa, and Skip came over to me and he called me into his office and said, "Hey, you're you're being traded to the Padres," um, and he had great things to say about the organization. So even before I even got there, um, he made me feel comfortable since he came from Padres. Um, I made I felt comfortable coming into this organization and, and know that they would take care of, of Tanner and I, um, and knowing that Luis was taken care of too, and uh, how much he loves San Diego as well. Um, we were in good hands, um, but it was definitely a crazy day, something I didn't expect, but I'm thankful for how it went down. Um, just performatively and maybe data-wise, is there anything that they've shown you about your pitch mix that you maybe didn't see here or open your eyes to some things that you've kind of maybe brought into your game since you've come over? Yeah, we, we go over some, some pitch data for sure, but same thing with the Marlins. We would go over my pitch data as well. Um, but I think they, what they've done here is, you know, put the belief in me that, you know, my, my splitter is a pretty good pitch to lefties and righties, not just lefties. Um, that I can use it to both right righties and lefties. Um, not that I didn't want to use it with my, Miami. I just I, don't know, I didn't feel comfortable enough. But now I'm starting to get confidence with it and, and using it more and starting to get some good results with it. Um, the, Ruben and, and Fritz here, the, the pitching coach and the bullpen coach, have said, you know, implement that a little bit more and you'll probably see some good results. Last one here, and I'll kind of sandwich this one just so you can kind of get you out of here. You, you remember being a part of a playoff team last year, kind of, you know, with what Miami went through and what, would kind of be seen as an improbable run but now you know you're with a team that's fighting essentially for the division with the, you know your lead on the Dodgers being somewhat I believe it's like two and a half three games um you know tell me a little bit about that you know what it's like kind of being in the heart of a playoff race again but this time you know with a team of you know a lot more veterans and such yeah it's awesome I think I think every single MLB player plays to get to October baseball to play in the postseason to make a, a run at the World Series um, it's about winning um, I think it's really cool this group plays for one another. I think we've showed it here the last, I mean, I've been here for, I want to say, eight games now. We're never out of any ball game. Uh, we have a lot of clutch players, especially on the position side, and the bullpen's been good too. I think we have all aspects to make a deep run with, with bullpen pitching, starting pitching, defense, and offense. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, just going through it last year, I'm thankful to be in this opportunity again this year to, to hopefully be back in the postseason back-to-back -back years. Um, I know you can't take it for granted because they don't come every single year, so... I'm just taking it one day at a time um, and uh, hopefully hoping for the best.